A question for men. Serious question for the men and the men only. Why the f are y'all so good at being friends, but you f***ing suck as boyfriends? Please. We need answers. You're dating the wrong men. I am so glad you asked. That is a fascinating question with a, a fascinating answer. Sorry, this is for something else. Uh, and the answer, of course, is this shit. You know about money, don't you? I'm sure you remember it from the last time someone gave it to you for free. So the reason that it's easier for us to be your friends is... That was so petty. ...is that it doesn't cost money. Relationships cost money. You know about money, right? Have you ever earned money? Did you, Have you ever had a job? Was it really hard? Me too. Did it pay enough? Me neither. So then we don't have enough money to be a good boyfriend. We used to. We used to earn more than you. This would be the female average and the male average right there. This is the pettiest hove math video I've ever seen. And I've watched about eight of these. And you were looking for men who made more than you, which was easy when men made more than you. But you didn't like that. You wanted equal pay. And now that you have it, you are still looking for, just like before, men who make more than you. So when we made more than you, we could give you some of it. And that was the act of being a good boyfriend. Now that we make the same, we still have to give you some, which most of us cannot afford anymore, because the average guy no longer has what the average girl is looking for. This large number of women here, this tall line, is pursuing this small number of men here, this short line. Whereas before, the average woman who was looking for more than she had had a much higher percentage of men to pick from so so what does this mean it means standards have changed for women but i think men should also change their standards as well what do i mean by this you can look online you can see an average looking woman getting bombarded by thousands of compliments from thousands of men, varying in scales from one to, let's say one to seven, maybe one to eight, but let's say one to seven, like when, it, when it's like, oh, this guy's a six or this guy's a five, right? From one to seven, I would say um, those men are giving compliments to women that are between the ranges of, three from three and up basically uh i believe if maybe if you're a two like maybe of course you get some compliments and uh ones they get complimented by other women so you know you could also take that into account as well but let's continue the video all of these dynamics, all of this stuff about how money has changed the dating market, those things do not matter if we are friends. Because this is not what friends are. If I had a friend and it cost me money to be her friend, I would stop being her friend. I have dated a lot of women. I have also had a lot of female friends. Do you know what the difference is? Number one, we don't f Number two, they never say things like, you never take me anywhere exciting. You remember Robbie? He bought jewelry for his friend. That, that, that part of the relationship is missing. I've never had a relationship partner where they ever brought up how some other dude bought something for some other woman. If you guys are in a relationship like that, be careful. I once had a really good friendship with a woman. She okay. was married. They nice. both had money and I did not. So okay. when we would hang out, she would buy things for me because okay. that's what friends do. That's why I was able like to be a good friend because it was not friendship. out of my price range. Women seem not to understand that they cost money. That being a good boyfriend means transferring monetary value and nobody has money anymore. It's been a relentless 50 year decline. We that's need answers. Sad. The answer is really simple. Think about how hard it is for you to go to work and get paid enough to afford stuff. And then just remember that you 
our stuff that we can no longer afford. Men have to work. We do not just have magic money printers. At least not all of us. So yeah, the answer is money. This is the situation now. You cost too much. We cannot do this anymore because we do not have this anymore. I hope that helps. Well, it's definitely a, a interesting answer. A very petty answer at that, but it was definitely an interesting answer. And this does uh, definitely, uh, it definitely holds weight, um, especially like if you look around uh, the material woman, the material man, the modern dating scene where, you know, money is almost like the most important thing. I'm not sure when money hasn't been the most important thing, but when I think about like my personal relationships, it's never been that way. But at the same time, you know, I can only speak for myself, but I have looked and I have observed that, you know, money has definitely become uh, a most, uh, a more difficult, uh, a more difficult uh, thing to acquire, especially the world that we live in now. Right. So, you know, it would make sense. You know, the, the men have less, less men have less money, so they cannot spoil girls as much. And, you know humans like to be spoiled whether if they're a, a male or a woman but uh, it this it can be deeper than this but sure we could just say it's money but yeah let me guys know what you think about it uh why why uh why are men terrible boyfriends uh because we're all broke <laughs> all right i'll see you guys on the next one peace out